Hey Kelly, how are you? We have so much to catch up on. My fiance and I just moved into our dream home. It's so beautiful and it has the most amazing views of the city. We have a lot of work to do inside, but I'm feeling anxious about getting started on my patio. We love to entertain, but haven't had time to give it some serious TLC. I could really use your brilliance. And hey, if you're up for it, we can even make some leaf videos. I need your DIY brilliance. Please help me. XOXO, Jerry Hirsch. This place is amazing. This view out so here, much. but then I see a deck. Yes, this deck could be a very special place, but it definitely needs some love. Tell me a little bit about what you want to use this deck for. Number one, it's obviously a great place to dine. I think having dinner parties and brunches, it would just be so magical here. Then I was thinking it'd be cool to have some sort of seating area. So when you're just hanging out at home and you're not sitting at a table, you can just lounge around. And number three, I think food is really important to us. So whether that's figuring out how to maybe grow something or grill something. You like to cook or does your husband cook? I'm a real chef, but he's oh, a griller. Okay. okay, so I think I have some ideas. Do you know how to use a chop saw? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm a big DIYer, but that's that's a whole new world. Okay. Do, do you know how? Yes. Okay. And it's very easy. <laughs> okay. And so I have a project for you that I think you love. Great. I'm excited. So I thought about it, and I think what would look amazing out here is to do two planter boxes. Love that idea. I want to make this as simple and easy as possible for you, so what I decided to do is only use two types of wood. Number one being the two by fours that you see behind us, and then we have this four by two piece of just basic plywood that we're going to use for the base. Now we're going to build a frame, and we need to build a bottom frame and a top frame. So we're going to start out by cutting four pieces for the bottom and four pieces for the top. The tools that we're going to need to build it are, of course, the chop saw. The intimidating chop saw. It isn't intimidating, I promise. I have never used a saw like this. I'm excited to learn. It is really easy to use. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, our first piece that we're gonna cut is going to be 17 and a half inches. So you grab your tape measure and you wanna measure out 17 and a half. And then you wanna mark it with your pencil. Now after you've done that, line up your wood and you wanna put it right on the outside edge. And you wanna turn it on up here. Okay. <laughs> you can do this. Okay. Piece of wood, girl. Woo! It's actually kind of thrilling. Okay, so now we're actually going to be building the frame for the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an angled 45 degree miter cut. So you want to learn how to make one of those? Yeah. Let's do okay. It. So we're going to make one that's actually going to butt up to this. Okay. So let's measure 43 and 3 quarters. Okay. Now the cool thing about this chop saw is that we're going to move it. See this lever down here, this black lever? Press it in. Okay. And now you can move it side to side. So we're going to go 45 oh, cool. degrees. So we press the button, we pull it, and then we stop it at 45 degrees. That was literally a perfect cut. Rest it off. You want to see how this is going to go? Oh, wow. They that butt up together. That is so precise. Right? I'm so proud of ourselves. OK, so we cut our frame, right? Yep. And now it's time to assemble it. So we have our two inch wood screw. And what we want to do is we want to drill a hole with a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than the circumference of the screw here. Perfect. Now to reverse it, click that button on it. Yep. And now pull it out. There you go. No big deal. See? I don't even need to be here. Boom! Nice! Okay, we have the bottom frame done, right? But we also have the top frame as well. So we need something to attach it to. So these pieces right here are gonna be our sides. Okay. So we're simply gonna take all of these pieces and we've cut enough to go all the way around at 22 and a half inches. And we're gonna stack them like this and go all the way across and around. Okay, you kind of get a good feel for the drill. Best one yet. Don't screw with me. Once we have it assembled all together, we are going to fill all the holes 
with some wood putty. And then after that dries, we're basically going to give it a sand. <laughs> Once we have that done, we are going to stain it. And then after the stain dries, we're gonna polyurethane it. What I like about all these little knots is it still kind of gives us that rustic feel. Yeah, so relaxing. It is, isn't it? Now that the stain's dry, we're gonna take an all-weather plastic sheeting and line the inside of the box. To secure the sheeting, I'm gonna use a staple gun. Now what you first wanna do is secure each of the four corners and then make your way all the way around. Any extra that you have hanging off the edge, you can take a pair of scissors and trim it around your planter box to fit. Once your lining's secure, it's time to add your soil. Finally, the last step is to plant your herbs. And voila, you have your own DIY herb planner box for your home. Now it's time to make those final touches and show Jerry her brand new patio. Are you ready, girl? I'm ready, I okay. can't wait. Open your eyes. <gasps> Kelly, this looks amazing. Oh, do you love it? I love it. This looks so good. And our planter box is looking incredible. You did this. Wow. I mean, you seriously used your top saw. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I mean, like, those are amazing. You will have those truly forever. They're beautiful. The number one thing you said that you guys want to do out here is entertain. So I thought a great seating area would be perfect. I found all this furniture and the rug at Home Depot. Looks great. Can I test out the seating? Yes. All Sit, right. girl. Comfy. It's comfortable, right? This is nice. I'm into it. I'm just gonna take all my meetings here from now on. Now the other thing that you love to do is cook. Yes. And your fiance loves to grill. Yes. So of course we had to give you a new grill. <gasps> and what's a brand new grill without man accessories? And I think these are the ultimate man accessories. Oh yes, the culprits to a delicious hamburger. Okay, so not only did you learn how to use a chop saw, but you also learned how to do angled cuts how to stain, and how to actually assemble one of these boxes together. Right? I'm like a pro now. I am so happy with what Kelly did. From the seating area to the grill, the planter boxes with the herbs, and all these adorable accessories from Home Depot. I'm just so happy. So thank you, Kelly, so much. That was so much fun. Our simple DIY planter boxes certainly breathe a little life into Jerry's now functional patio space. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to share all your DIY projects and experiences with me. I'm Kelly Edwards and we'll see you next time on DIY House Call.